But that was the case with Paul and Barnabas. These close friends, these brothers in Christ, these pioneers of the church, they walked away and never ministered again together because of this conflict in Acts 15. But fortunately, and this is why I'm glad this is in the Bible, I think we can learn from their mistake. And what I believe we learn from their mistake is that the person is always more important than the argument. Loving the person is always more important than winning the argument. Paul and Barnabas didn't have to split up. Does that surprise you to hear that? Like, <laughs> they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to do this. They could have reached a compromise. Like, they could have said, okay, well, Paul could have said, I'll let Mark come for a probationary term. Six months, we'll see how it goes, and I reserve the right to say no after six months. They could have, Paul could have said, you know what, let me take Silas, and I'll let you take Mark, and the four of us will go together. They could have said, you know what, let's go back to the church in Jerusalem and just see what our spiritual family thinks about this. We're obviously at an impasse, but they didn't. They were too proud to do that. Maybe you're the same way. Maybe you're too proud to really seek the relationship above the argument. But if that's you, I just want you to think about something. I want you to really think about this and consider this in your heart. When Paul and, Bar Paul and Barnabas had their disagreement and they had their conflict, each of them probably walked away thinking, ah, I won the argument, I showed him. But I wonder, when Paul came to the end of his life, when Barnabas came to the end of his life, do you think either of them cared about who won the argument? When you come to the end of your life, and you're on your deathbed, and you're drawing your last breath, are you going to care about how many people you proved wrong? Are you going to care about how many arguments you won? My guess would be you're going to be caring more in that moment about the relationships you lost because you were too proud to say I'm sorry. Too often we let little things, we let little things that take place hinder our relationships with one another. And even with our Christian brothers and sisters, little things hinder our relationships. That's exactly what we see happen in Acts chapter 15. That's exactly what we see happen in the ministry of Paul and Barnabas when they draw this line in the sand and say, forget you, I'm walking away. Whatever you do, whatever you do, don't run from conflict. Don't quit your job. Don't quit your church. Don't quit your marriage over a conflict. Hanging up the phone or, or slamming the door shut in somebody's face doesn't ever help. And neither does just resorting to the silent treatment and never talking to them again, blocking them from your life. Truly caring about a relationship means that you're willing to work through the issue, you're willing to face the issue, and with God's help, work it out. And here's why. Here's why. Because as Jesus followers, as Jesus followers, everything we do and the way that we live and the way that we believe and the way that we treat each other, everything flows from the life and work of Jesus it all flows from who Jesus is and what Jesus has done. Paul later in his life wrote to the Colossians, the church in Colossae, and he wrote in Colossians 3.13, bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And I can't help but wonder if Paul felt a little twinge of guilt in his heart as he wrote these words. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you because he knew I didn't do that with Barnabas. We forgive because God has forgiven us in Christ Jesus. We're different, and that's okay. We don't always agree, and that's okay. Sometimes we're going to strongly, sharply disagree, and that's okay. There's a lot of things that we don't have to agree on, but one thing we do have to do is love one another. That's a non-negotiable from Jesus himself. Love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if... You love one another. No matter how much we passionately disagree, we have to love each other. And so as David comes back up and, and leads us in a song of response, I just want to encourage you to think about the relationships in your life, particularly the relationships with other believers, other disciples, maybe even relationships with other people here at LifePoint. Is there someone that you need to forgive? Is there someone that you had a disagreement with that you need to bury the hatchet? 
Is there a relationship that needs to be reconciled? Don't don't let your pride get in the way. For those of you who are here today and maybe you don't acknowledge God as your Savior and you don't acknowledge Christ as your Lord and your God, I would just ask you, please, please, please don't judge God by Christians. Because Christians are just people and they're going to screw up sometimes. And sometimes they're going to screw up bad. Christians are people just like you, flawed and fallible. I know personally that when Christians fight, it can make Christ himself look really bad. I know that there are probably some of you here today, maybe even those who are Christians, who you maybe have been wounded by other Christians in the past who who tried to argue you into heaven or argue you into their way of seeing things. I, I hope that you'll forgive us for what it's worth from just from me. I'm sorry for whatever you've been through. I hope that you can find healing in your life, and I hope that you can find it here at Life Point. One of the things I love most about this church, one of the things I love most about Life Point Church is that a kind of a common story that I hear from a lot of people is that they were burned by church in the past, they had almost given up on the whole church thing, and they gave it one more shot at Life Point, and they've stuck around. <laughs> Somehow they have found a family here, they found healing here, they found reconciliation here. I hope that would be your story too someday. And for all of us, no matter where we're coming from, no matter where you are in life, let's all remember that loving the person is more important than winning the argument. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father,